Welcome to PointYC's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we describe some of the options available in the Global tab inside the new Automatic Surface Mesh functionality. As you can see, the Global tab is divided into four frames. The options in the Geometric Characteristics frame are the ones that you're going to be using to basically get a sense of the overall size of the geometry you're working with. You can visualize in here the extents of your model. You can visualize the smallest edge in your geometry. You can also very quickly visualize the boundaries in your model that define an open hole. As you can see, those are rendered in red. And last but not least, you can also visualize those boundaries that define a symmetry. And as you can see, those are rendered in green. You can, of course, use these checkboxes right here to render those features in your geometry in a permanent way. The numbers that you specify in the resolution frame are going to seed the algorithms that behind the scenes will be used to create the surface mesh. As you can see, for example, you can specify the minimum number of subdivisions. If you remember, the number of subdivisions in a connector is the number of grip points minus one. This number right here, or this option, is going to define the number of subdivisions that you get in the smallest connectors in your surface mesh. If you expand this right here, you can also specify the minimum edge length and whatever number you enter there is going to be used together with the smallest edge in your geometry to actually compute the minimum number of subdivisions. In an analogous way, you can specify the maximum number of subdivisions and the maximum edge length. This option right here is the curvature resolution and is expressed in degrees. This option is used to refine the connectors based on the curvature of the underlying database entities. This option is also used in areas where the new 2D T-Rex angle boundary condition is used on your surface grid. Let's go ahead and push the Create Surface button to very quickly create your surface grid. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.